Elon Musk's private passion and dedication enabled SpaceX to achieve things the Russian industry has given up in the space business. The launch of SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket echoes as powerfully in Russia as in the whole world. SpaceX has completely taken over the space industry, substituting the Russian space industry at the international level. Today's video is all about how Elon Musk stole billions in space tech contracts from the Russians. Let's begin. SpaceX's Smart Efforts SpaceX, a private US space company, continues to produce technical masterpieces that the Russian space industry has given up long ago. First, the consistent reuse of rockets and now the successful launch of a rocket with up to 27 engines have earned SpaceX a big name in the space business. The Soviet Union tried something similar in the 1960s and early 1970s. Sergei Korolev, the rocket designer who launched the first satellite and the first human into space, began developing the so-called N1, a super-heavy rocket with 30 engines that can put a 75-ton space station into orbit and perhaps to the Moon and Mars. Completed after Korolev's death in 1966, the N1 was tested four times. Each of the launches failed, mainly because of the difficulty of running so many engines at the same time. Now, SpaceX has performed a similar task. SpaceX founder Elon Musk now has the most powerful rocket in the world. It can carry up to 64 tons into orbit. Russia is planning to build a similar rocket that can fly to the Moon or Mars. It is not yet completed and certainly not fully funded, although Dmitry Rogozin, head of the Russian space agency Roskomos, has promised the first launch in 2028. Even China is likely to have a super-heavy launcher ahead of Russia. But it's Elon Musk's success to thrive on. Roskomos has the full power of the state behind them, and yet here this young showman shoots his Tesla Roadster into space just to make a statement. The sharpness did not make it any less bitter. Russians laugh when it hurts, and many Russian memes bravely acknowledge defeat by proposing what Russia could have put into space instead of a Tesla Roadster. But the undertone is serious. Elon Musk has a dream with his raw sales art and nerdish cultural references, which is described in a white paper published by him. It is supposed to colonize Mars. He admitted in the white paper that this was his only motivation to get rich. Russia doesn't really have a suitable dreamer. Since the collapse of the Soviet Union, the Russian space program has been operated pragmatically for money. With proven technology, Russia took the lead in the market for commercial launches. But SpaceX's persistence and ingenuity, and its success in cutting costs by reusing rockets, made it the likely market leader and possibly even profitable last year. The Falcon 9 was certainly the most successful rocket in the world. Russia's unwillingness to continue with NASA Russia will withdraw from the International Space Station after 2024 and focus on building its own orbiting outpost. The country's new space chief briefed on his plans amid high tensions between Moscow and the West over the fighting in Ukraine. NASA and other international partners hope to keep the space station operational until 2030, while the Russians are reluctant to make commitments beyond 2024. The space station is jointly operated by the space agencies of Russia, the USA, Europe, Japan and Canada. The first piece was launched into orbit in 1998 and the outpost has been continuously inhabited for nearly 22 years. It is used for scientific research in weightlessness and the testing of equipment for future space travel. The Russian announcement is sure to spark speculation that it is part of Moscow's maneuvers to ease Western sanctions in the Ukraine conflict. With Elon Musk's SpaceX company now flying NASA astronauts to and from the space station, the Russian space agency lost an important source of revenue. For years, NASA paid tens of millions of dollars per seat for trips to and from the station aboard Russian rockets. NASA has granted SpaceX three additional missions, Crew-7, Crew-8 and Crew-9, as part of its commercial human transportation capability contract for crew transportation services to the International Space Station. This brings the total number of manned missions of the space agency to the ISS to nine, including three successful operational missions in the last two years. The original $2.6 billion contract was awarded to SpaceX in 2014 for the development of American manned launch capabilities. According to NASA, these three new missions increase SpaceX's total contract to $3.49 billion. 
Russian technology is going outdated. One of the major reasons behind SpaceX taking the game away from the Russian space industry is its modern technology. Russian missiles and ships have had technical construction since the 1970s. Elon Musk's rockets, which can land on their own with their engines, are a brand new technology. The Crew Dragon, however, is not the only reusable US spaceship. The Boeing X-37B, which can spend two years in orbit, is already flying into space, and the manned Boeing Starliner capsule is also being prepared for flight. The Russian ship Oriol, which is supposed to replace the Soviet Soyuz, has undergone three name changes, but the public has only seen one plastic model so far. The Angara rocket, which is supposed to launch Oriol into orbit, has been in development for 26 years, but has only completed one test flight so far. China has also overtaken Russia in the satellite industry. Its satellite constellation has doubled in five years, while Russia's has increased by only a third. China currently has 363, the United States has 1,327, and Russia has 169 satellites. Unlike China and the US, Russia does not produce smartphones, navigation devices, or cosmic radiation-resistant electronics needed for satellites. Their plans to gain a foothold in space exploration have also failed. In 2013, Russia promised to build a heavy-class rocket, a new manned ship, launch several orbiting space telescopes, and even set up an automated lunar base by the end of the decade. By 2030, it also planned to build a rocket for interplanetary flights, bring Mars soil back to Earth, and prepare to put cosmonauts on the moon. But Roscosmos still needs to do half of its job, so they need a significant renewal of their space strategy. Strong Competition Against Russia Russia continues to dismantle its role in the space industry, alienating itself from international customers it has long supplied with space resources, because President Vladimir Putin refused to withdraw from the attack on Ukraine. Since Russia began its invasion, the head of the Russian space agency, Dmitry Rogozin, refused to launch the payloads of a British satellite company, stopped supplying Russian-built rocket engines to US customers, and threatened to sever relations with its partners on the International Space Station, including NASA. The most sensitive current space policy issue is the International Space Station. For over 20 years, NASA and Russia have worked together to build and maintain the orbiting laboratory 200 miles above Earth. The first modules were American and Russian. The first two astronauts to enter the space station when the lights were turned on were an American and a Russian cosmonaut together. So it's the end of a long companionship. Meanwhile, Russia's competitors are preparing to conquer the Moon and Mars. In two years, the Americans will send the Viper Lunar Rover to Earth's satellite in search of water. In 2023, NASA plans to build the Gateway Space Station in lunar orbit, from where astronauts will land on the Moon a year later. The construction of a habitable lunar base is planned for 2028. The Perseverance rover and the very first mini helicopter have just taken off for Mars. NASA plans to land astronauts on Mars in the 2030s. But Elon Musk has already promised to send astronauts to Mars on the Starship spacecraft in 2024. The businessman is currently working on another revolutionary project, the Internet Satellite Constellation Starlink, which will even be available on the high seas or in the desert. China also has ambitious plans for space. In 2018, a Chinese rover landed on the dark side of the moon, and China is sending a rover to the Red Planet this year. Beijing intends to build its own orbital station in two years, and an automated base at the moon's South Pole in ten years, and send astronauts there by 2036. At the same time, SpaceX is the only company in the US actually certified to fly astronauts to the space station. NASA has signaled that it is willing to invest billions of dollars in SpaceX to keep operations going on board the aging orbital outpost. With NASA's continuous efforts to establish a commercial crew program and SpaceX offering its quality services, Russia has no chance to make a comeback anytime soon. So that's all for today. I hope you found this video informative and see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new here and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any future updates.